Hey guys, RTX here, and welcome back to another video with this house. Um, really quickly, I did do some messing around with my audio, like my mic, so hopefully it sounds a little bit better. When I listen to the playback and recordings, it sounds a little bit like more uniform, not as crunchy. Uh, I can only make it sound so good because it's a, it's a headset mic, so <laughs> nothing special. But hopefully that helps a little bit. But back to the focus of this video, which is this whole area kind of looks a lot different now. Um, <laughs> sorry, I kind of spaced out there for a second. Mainly, I've added a bunch of trees. I'll talk about the golf course there in a second. But there's these trees that I made in a separate world that I have. I have a whole world that I made just to kind of make some custom trees on. I just go copy paste them from there. But they're all this. This is all the same tree, but it's like rotated. And some of them, when I pasted them, I pasted them at like different heights, so you can see. Uh, some of them are taller than others and then like the taller ones I just added more to this to like the stump here uh, I think the stump might be a little too wide on some of these but I think it's okay uh, there is I don't know if I showed that I made this that I added this little gravel thing here before oh I'm lagging I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah also these benches these might have been here last time i'm not entirely sure but uh just in case i didn't these are purple beds and warp signs and you know oak, oak slabs and oak planks fairly simple but like and this is like you know maybe a table you can put something down on i'm actually i'm gonna try to go a little bit faster because i do have a lot that i want to show you guys but i don't want to make the video too long so i'm gonna go back into spectator really quick and there's this other tree I added here. I added some little vines kind of going down. That's just floating. I'll fix that later. Little garage door here. And inside there is I added like a little thing where, you know, it kind of goes back. And then that, uh, what you call it, or at least in my house, my house has one of these. It's like, they're like a sensor. And if you put something here, like if I were to stand here, the door wouldn't close or something. I don't know. And it kind of looks similar to this, so I figured, I don't know, I'll make that. That's the best, simplest way I could think of doing it. But, uh, hopping back outside here, this is the golf course. I'm sorry, it's lagging. Also, uh, speaking of lag, uh, it's caused by my shaders, and also the fact that I'm using 24 chunk render distance. Uh, the reason I'm not using the edit of the CUDA shaders that I showed off last time is because apparently a couple days ago, mid-game, when I was just building, my computer decided, hey, you know what? You have a different graphics card now. I got a pop-up on my screen that said, like, your hardware settings changed. Reboot your computer for these changes to take effect. So, yeah, for some reason, there's, like, weird artifacts and stuff now. I know how to fix it, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it because it's kind of a pain. Uh, one thing I'm not too happy about is the curves on this. This looks absolutely atrocious. Because what I did to make this was I just got, like, pretend this is a shovel, and I went around and just clicked, like, with the, uh, the brush thing. I didn't actually use the curve command because I didn't know how to do it. And I figured, hey, you know what, I'll just, like, fix it later. I don't want to fix all this, though. I'd rather just redo it, but do it right. Because, you know, I put so much effort into everywhere else in this house. I'm going to do it right. This is the biggest project I've ever done. But yeah, over here, there is, you know, some markings for, like, some more trees to put in. This is going to be, like, a gazebo type thing. Uh, there is yeah, this little other oak tree I made. And some more trees over here. That's pretty much it for the landscaping so far. There's still nothing out back. Although I do have some stuff planned in my head. And I have actually started uh, doing some stuff here. This is going to be like a, a snack bar and like a pool right there. I'll talk about that more next time because I don't have a lot of time in this video. Because I don't want to bore you guys to death with like a 20 minute video. 
So, the thing I really want to show you... Oh, I did uh, start planning these gatehouses over here as well. Yeah. What I really wanted to show you is what happens at night. So, I'm going to go time set midnight. And it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty nice, actually. But it can be better. So, I, I, mean, I would walk, but for the sake of time... I'm just going to fly, but I kind of want to show you guys, you know, how you would get there. If this even, like, matters at all, because I'm going so fast, probably <laughs> not retaining any information. Okay, so, we're in here. This is uh, through the garage, by the way. Uh, there is, there we go, all these uh, different lighting things. So there is yard lighting, pond lighting. Uh, three different settings of the pond lighting. I'll just turn them all on. Uh, and I'll show you. I'm just going to fly through here because it's easier. So the reason there's three different like lighting zones is because one of them, the primary, as I've called it, is uh, just this center one right here. The secondary is these four outer ones. And then the tertiary is these two uh, on the outside there. So sorry, there's a little lighting glitch with the water there anyway coming back here this is my personal favorite is the pond lighting and if you go fast enough there's kind of like an animation almost of it turning on because the brimstone signal doesn't travel instantly and the way i've wired this up is that it goes around like in a pattern and i didn't do this intentionally uh to where you know it, they would all turn on individually but I really do like it. I think it's a super cool effect. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy with that. You can only really see it though if you're quick or if you have your render distance turned down because then the chunks don't really load, but then you go into the loaded chunks and it finishes turning on. But moving on to going back down here. Oh, uh, yeah, the yard lighting. So that actually is just kind of a bunch of lights around here. And then in previous uh, episodes, not really episodes, in previous videos, uh, these were lit up all the time, but I now have added a redstone kind of thing to it so you can turn it on and off. And that one is called entrance lighting, I believe. So I can go over here and flick that one on and it should yep there it is so now that is on and it's it's relatively simple it's not anything super special but i'm pretty happy with it okay so here is the last two things and that is a gatehouse lighting primary and secondary now those are the gatehouses way in the distance so i'm just going to turn them on and i'll show you what it is once i get there so this is kind of like the same thing we have with the windows on the first floor. And I do eventually want to add a redstone circuit going around the whole house that turns on and off these as well. But I've started kind of doing that with this here. This is the primary and then this is the secondary little lights and like, what would you call this? Like a flower bed? It, that's what it'll be eventually. There's nothing here right now, obviously. But I will put things there eventually. I'm not gonna really expand the property beyond this because at this point I think it's just becoming a little unnecessary or if I went farther it would be almost unnecessary it's not necessary but I you know I wanted to go all out so I thought why not so that's what I have <laughs> but yeah I'm really happy with how this has turned out so far uh, it's been an amazing, you know, experience building this, and yeah, still nothing on the back. God, this place just looks so good. I love this house, and this is like the first time I've built in this style. But I, like, I think I nailed it. It can obviously be a little bit more detailed here and there, but. I love this place. Sorry if I just blew directly into the mic. <laughs> I do have a pop filter, but 
It's still kind of an annoying sound. Oh, I did furnish uh, one other bedroom. I am... I have no idea. Oh, it's because I was going to pick block it, but I never ended up getting rid of it. So there's this bedroom. I did carpet in this one, and I think it actually looks pretty good. There's some bushes up here. I might figure out a way to add some fences around it, like a trellis. That would look so weird indoors, though. I'll figure it out later. Got a little TV here with the oak trap doors. And then I love the dark oak sapling in this texture pack. It's so cool. I'm so proud of this house. And you know, all the nice feedback I've gotten in the comments. That means a lot to me as well. Uh, you know, just things I can do. That really helps, helps me out. And it really brightens my day to see, you know, that people care. Also, um, come November, I will probably be starting making videos on Forza Horizon 5, which is, just got announced yesterday. I was so excited. I was literally like shaking. I've been waiting for that game for so long. So yeah, I will be making videos on that. It's going to be a while from now, but also just like this frame right here. Actually, I'm going to get my thumbnail right here. I mean... Hey, why not, right? <laughs> I might have that as my background. But yeah, I really like this place. Yeah, I think these gatehouses are going to turn out sick. And then there's going to be kind of a road that, you know, we'll go around. I'm so sorry. Let me turn up my field of view. And all the block palette things that I had, uh, I moved them out here. Because I was getting ready to work on the backyard. But I wanted to film this video first. Or not film it, record it, kind of, whatever. Doesn't matter. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else that's really been going on on the inside here. What's this? Oh, that's been there for a while. Yeah, inside has, you know, stayed mostly the same. I don't know if I showed this little uh, library room that I made. This is here. Yeah, that's really it. Sorry if this video was super long compared to my other ones. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> yeah, sorry if it was a longer video than usual. But there was a lot to cover in this one. And school is almost over for me. One week from my last week of school. I'm so excited. I have hated this year of school so much. Uh, it's wrecked me mentally. <laughs> I'm just, I'm exhausted. It's so hard for me to focus and retain information over, like, through a screen. I do so much better in person. But it's like, when I go to school in person, like, two days a week, like, I don't like it. I just, I feel like I'm not ready to go back. I just like, I don't like being around a bunch of people anymore. It's weird. Something that I didn't used to, I used to not mind at all. Like, I just, it's too much now. Anyway, that's a topic for a different video or stream more likely. Cause that, I kind of have, you know, unlimited time theoretically. Cause I can stream for like two hours. But yeah, that's it for this one I will update you guys as soon as I can it'll probably be at the end of this week or maybe Wednesday because I have a lot of time on Wednesdays but yeah if you guys enjoyed uh, leave a like you know, subscribe do that stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for being here have a wonderful day